From the last episode, we did uh, basic editing. We showed you guys how to take clips up here, do in and out points, and drop them into the timeline. This time, we're going to start getting into the toolbar here, um, which will lead up to a little bit more advanced editing. We'll get in, later, we'll get into trimming, and we'll get into uh, three-point editing, and, uh, and overlays, and inserts, and a whole bunch of different things as well. Uh, but right now, we're going to start showing you the toolbar so we can lead up to trimming here. Um, on the toolbar first we've got the selection tool. Uh, shortcuts for these to select these are listed right here. If you hover over these buttons it'll bring up um, the shortcut which is right there at the right in parentheses. So you got B for ripple tool, N for rolling to roll edit tool, uh, your rate stretch and uh, all these things and so on and so forth. Um, but to select those all you have to do is if you memorize those things you hit that shortcut for it. Uh, like the, the, like the razor blade is C so you hit C, it turns into a razor blade. Now you can go down here and cut. We'll talk about that in a minute. But if you want to go back to your selection tool, you hit V as in Victor, and it uh, brings up your arrow tool. And notice up here it selects those when I hit those tools. So C for arrow, um, you got your slip slide, uh, your pen tool, you got whole, all these tools in here uh, that we're going to go through. Um, okay, so first of all, your arrow tool here. Um, your arrow tool is a selection tool. It's also... Um, it's also a move tool as well, um, but a few ways to select here with your arrow tool. You've got uh, you can do a marquee. Well, actually, let's do the more simple way first, which is just to simply click on a file. Make sure you don't click on these little uh, lines up here. We'll we'll show you what those are in a little bit uh, when we get into opacity and uh, ramping uh, audio. But you just click here on the image. Um, and these two files are linked here. So when you select this, you'll notice it selects both the video and audio. If they are unlinked, it'll select just the video. And by the way, if you want to do that just uh, uh, real time, or uh, if you want to select just the video or audio and they're linked, a quick way of doing that is holding down your Option or Alt key and click on the video or the audio, and it temporarily unlinks those so it can select just the video or audio. Then you can hit Delete, and it deletes just the audio instead of both clips if you're trying to do such a thing. Uh, your Alt key is going to help you with trimming as well later on. Another way of selecting is to click and drag a marquee over these videos. Make sure you don't click on the video and start dragging because that just moves the video. So you click away in this blank area right up here, click and drag across uh, across several uh, clips that you want to select. You can select clips like this. If you're zoomed up, by the way, and you want to select several um, clips in your timeline, you just simply hit the slash key above your return key, the uh, forward slash, and it will um, uh, show the entire timeline. You can use plus, minus, and slash, as we discussed in an earlier episode, uh, to navigate, to zoom in and out, and show your entire timeline. Um, okay, so once we've done that, um, let's, let's see, so we've got the click to select, drag uh, your marquee across several clips. Uh, just a quick way of uh, u utilizing selections here in the timeline is, say we want to move some clips here. Um, we're going to select several clips. Say we want to, for some reason, we want to grab the, these clips and insert them between these two shots here. First of all, what you're going to do is you're going to cut that there. You're going to hit Command X. This is just like a pro word processor. Command or Control X, C, and V is cut, copy, and paste. So if you hit Command X, it's going to cut. And now say we want to move it here. The only thing is it leaves this gap. Final Cut 7 had a nice little uh, shortcut that was Shift Command X that actually did a ripple cut and it pulled it together for you in one move. Uh, unfortunately, they do not have that in Premiere yet. Hopefully, they'll have it someday. Uh, but we're going to do Command X and cut that. We're going to select this uh, area here. Uh, just click on that with the Selection tool and hit your big delete key. Not the small delete key, big delete key. It'll fill the gap there. Another way to fill the gap is to right click and ripple delete. And now, if we want to move this, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to arrow down. We've showed you in an earlier episode to navigate between clips. We're going to arrow down. It'll jump to the next edit, and you're going to do... Now, watch what happens. If I do Command-V, as in Victor, to paste, it will overwrite everything in its path. that ate that clip that was in front of it. So I undo. Command-Z to undo. But now if you do, and this was the same as in Final Cut 7, if you do Command-Shift-V, well, that's going to be a ripple paste. The Shift and the regular Command function is the difference between a paste and a ripple paste, what's called a ripple paste. The ripple paste, Command, Shift, 
V is going to shove that everything out from that point down so it doesn't overwrite it. Um, so that is the difference between uh, Command X and Command Shift X, or, or sorry, Command V and Command Shift V. Um, now, if you want to copy these items, you can do the same thing. You can select some clips, a uh, range of clips, and you do Command C to copy. You can move this uh, to a different location and Command Shift V just pasted that duplicates right there of these clips right here. So X, C, and V, Command X, C, and V, uh, Command Shift uh, X doesn't really work, but Command Shift V will do a ripple uh, paste. So let me undo that. So that is your arrow tool basically right there. Your arrow tool is also a trim tool. Um, so you've got selection, you've, you can move clips, you can grab a clip and just move it anywhere on the timeline. And by the way, if you want to insert this clip over here, a quick way of doing that is you just grab this clip, yawning, and I'm going to grab it over here and put it where I want it to land, but right there is going to overwrite. If I let go, it's going to overwrite the clips in its way. So it just ate into that clip right there. Now if I grab this and move it over and hold Command, now watch this. When I get it over here and I get it where I want, now I'm going to hold down Command, it does this arrow here. This is a ripple. This is basically like a ripple insert here. Um, or an, I just should say an insert instead of an overwrite. Uh, ripple insert is redundant. So I'm going to, uh, I'm holding down command right now. I'm going to let go of my mouse. Still holding down command. Now I can let go and I placed it in there and it inserted that clip uh, between these clips right here. So I'm going to undo that. Undo again. Get it back to where I was. Okay. So uh, last thing that the arrow tool does. Uh, there's a few other little things, but kind of the, the last minor thing that this does is um, is a trim tool. I'm going to zoom up a little bit here, hit plus plus a couple times here. Um, I'm going to go to the if you go to the edge of a clip here and you 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 move your arrow over the edge of an edit, it'll have this arrow that points toward one clip or points towards the other clip. If you move this back and forth, you'll notice the arrow changes directions and points towards. Uh, these these individual clips. What it's going to do is it's going to trim that clip. If you grab this and drag, I'm going to drag grab this with the mouse and drag to the left. Right now my snap tool is turned on, so it's going to snap within a few frames to these little uh, places here, like the playhead or the end of a or another clip. But you'll notice it trims the clip. What this is doing, and you'll notice the image up here, is it is uh, taking off the output. It's trimming back the out point. So this clip now ends earlier. It leaves this gap compensating for the, the place. So you can actually highlight this space, hit delete, and it gets rid of that space, that gap there. Um, but this basically trims your in and out points. Uh, so you, it'll either extend the clip or shorten the clip. So let's go to the end here. I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to trim it to my playhead right there. I'm just going to drag it. It ex expands the clip. So first, She's just right here, ending where she's kind of breathing out and getting ready to try to bend this box here. But uh, if I grab my out point and drag it to the right, it expands it until she tries it a couple times, then I can end this clip where I want. Or you can shrink it and have it end earlier before she lifts the, lifts the carton up or something. So, um, so you can do that to any clip here. Trim it in, trim it, trim it out, but it it will only trim as long as it uh, until it bumps into another clip. Then it will not let you trim anymore. Uh, if you want to trim it more, you basically have to move this clip up so if something's not blocking it and trim past. We'll get into that in some advanced editing uh, later on. Um, okay. Moving on to the next tool, selection. We're still in kind of the selection area here. These first two tools are selection uh, tools. And trimming, of course. But uh, this next one, which is tr track select tool. Uh, another thing I wish they had in Final Cut, they had a select backwards or select backwards and select forwards. Um, Premiere does not do that. It, uh, unfortunately, I don't know why it only has a select forward tool. That's about within the tr uh, the tools here. That's another thing I wish they had was um, was ripple cut and. Uh, select tracks backwards, but I'm not sure why they haven't added that yet. Because I know there's a bunch of Final Cut enthusiasts that have sent requests to Adobe, and Adobe usually listens pretty good, but they haven't done that for some reason. Um, anyway, the the select forward track here uh, will select all tracks forward from the point where you click. If I click right here, 
it's going to select everything. This little double arrow means it means all tracks, which means audio and video. And if you have layered video, let me grab some video here and pretend like we have different clips up here. I'm going to duplicate this. The way you duplicate um, tracks, and we'll get into this later, is you select a bunch of tracks, you hold down Option, and you drag up. And it just duplicated a bunch of uh, tracks there. All these are duplicates now. They're on top. We'll talk about what this layering and hierarchy means here. But uh, right now, for now, let's pretend like uh, these are a bunch of um, B-roll clips that are on top here. Uh, anyway, and we want to select uh, just this track right here. What we're going to do is we're going to get our uh, track selection tool or hit A for shortcut. And we're going to go down here and click. Notice this double arrow here will select everything from this point forward. This is also a move tool. Once you click, you can also hold down your mouse and drag these clips as well and move them. Um, or you can select, if you want to move them, you can hit Command X to cut. Go to Home, because I want to put them right here. Command Shift V to push that out and paste it in there. So I just moved it from before this, or, or from after this clip to before this clip. Or you can get a range of clips. I'm going to undo and, uh, and move those. Now, if you hold down Shift with your tool here while, while you're on your track selection tool, notice what it does. Shift it does a single arrow. That is just going to select a single track. So I'm going to now click and notice it selects just this track here and all of the files that are that are linked to that video. So these audio files as well. Now uh, remember option. So if I hold down shift, let's, let's, let's try this track right here. Click right there. It'll select all the tracks from that point forward on this. It doesn't have any audio files associated with that because it was a, it duplicated just the video track that are not linked. Only one video track can be linked to audio tracks there. Um, so now now watch this. When I, uh, but, but when I select this one, I hold down shift and click. It, it selects all the tracks that are linked to that. Say I just want to select the video track. If you remember the option key that kind of disables the link temporarily, I'm going to hold down shift, option, and click. That means just single arrow, option to unlink. I'm holding down shift and, and option, and it just selected the video. I say I want to select it, just the audio. If I click just double arrows here, nothing holding down. It selects everything, but I'm going to hold down shift. It does a single arrow, option to unlink the audio and video temporarily, and click on the audio. It selects just the audio. So holding those down, if I want to move these, or if, if I want to just delete them, delete, the big delete key. Um, there's a difference between the big delete key and small delete key. We'll talk about that later. Um, but there you go. Those are, those are the options right there. Um, okay. Uh, let's get. I'm going to delete this clip right there. Uh, we're going to go through um, the ripple and roll editing tool in the next lesson. I just want to do the selection process uh, in this um, in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will get into ripple and roll slip and slide.